The Champions League has returned and we had some Canadian players in action with Tejon Buchanan's Club Brugge side earning qualification into the next round of the Champions League for the first time in the club's history and also Stefan Stacchio earned himself another start and earned another defensive masterclass in a massive victory over Bayer Leverkusen and Scotty Arfield even getting himself a goal in a very impressive performance where his Rangers side were absolutely smashed against Liverpool. But we're going to jump straight into things and talk about Tejon Buchanan's performance against Atletico Madrid. But before we do guys, make sure to drop down below, hit that like button, drop a comment down below on what you guys think of the content and of course, how our Canadian players have done in the Champions League and so far this campaign and make sure to hit that sub button and we're going to jump straight into things guys and talk about Tejon Buchanan's performance. Our young 23 year old attacker or wing back was having a very interesting performance yesterday. It wasn't bad and it wasn't great. It was a 7 out of 10 performance for me. He obviously got a 6.4 match rating, but the 23 year old started off the game at left back in a 4 4 2 system, played left wing back. Tejon Buchanan played everywhere on the pitch he basically could have, playing left back, left wing back, switched in the second half to more of a right wing back, right mid roll and then eventually played a little bit up top at number 9 position where he played a very good role for Club Brugge's uh, performance against Atletico Madrid. Having 84 minutes in the match, he was very dynamic. It wasn't his normal performance creating a lot of chances, dribbling forward a lot and really having some chances up front and creating those final third opportunities. Tijon Buchanan was still very good in the final third. He did create that penalty chance in the end of the first half where it did get ruled off due to VAR, where Tejon Buchanan really could have went either way. It could have been a penalty. It could not have been, and it did end up getting ruled out. And Tejon did get that yellow for contacting with the defender and trying to sell that. For me, the yellow card was very harsh on Tejon Buchanan. Yes, you can overrule the penalty, but I don't see any need to give Tejon Buchanan that yellow card. It made absolutely no sense. But Tejon Buchanan still had a very good performance. Earned himself a penalty. Like I said, got chalked off, but it was still a very good performance. Passing-wise, he was a very good 17 for 20, 85%, which for me, sometimes you don't look at stats, but passing is a stat that you can kind of look at for a player in his position because he's a forward-thinking player. He's not a player who's going to be looking backwards, turning around, playing the ball sideways, diagonal passes. He was playing very nice through balls. He was making final third runs. Like I said, some of his passes were absolutely brilliant, and he had a very good game yesterday. Defensive-wise, he has five recoveries, with one for one, tackles one. He was very good. Ground duels weren't great, five for 14, and he was fouled three times, which is brilliant. It shows how good he is on the ball and technically skilled he is, and his ability to get away from defenders and players is absolutely brilliant. But Tejon Buchanan finished yesterday with a 6.4 match rating for Club Brugge in a 84-minute display as his Club Brugge side qualified for the next round of the Champions League. And we also had yesterday with FC Porto, Stefan Estacchio earned himself another start, and he was absolutely Absolutely brilliant going the full length of the match just getting pulled off in the 89th minute but he was absolutely brilliant it wasn't his normal performance where in possession he was quality going forward the box to box midfielder kind of player he is he had a defensive brilliant performance today he was absolutely fantastic for his FC Porto side here in a 3-0 dominant performance against Bayern Leverkusen who of course is in their second match with new manager Xavi Alonso. So it's of course going to be hard for Bayer Leverkusen going into a match against a very good Sergio Conceição side in FC Porto. And Stefan Stacchio is more of a player that we all know, a box-to-box role, a forward-thinking possession style player who can move the ball around very nice with his feet and with his passing technical style of his game. He did finish his match with a 7.1 match rating, but this was more so to his defensive brilliance. Defensive-wise, guys, he was fantastic. Three clearances, three headed clearances, two interceptions, five recoveries, and he was only dribbled past once through the 89th minute. He won his one aerial duel. He even earned a foul. He was absolutely brilliant on the ball. Defensive-wise, he was fantastic. No one could get past him. He was a absolute rock. And if you look at it now... For me, Stefan Estacchio is an absolute lock in this FC Porto midfield. You have Uribe and you also have um, Gruic who, who just can't get back on the side and you, with how good Stefan Estacchio is truly playing now. If you look at it before, Stefan Estacchio was the first substitute in this FC Porto side and now he is the number one lock in this midfield. He is truly showing how good of a central midfielder he is and box-to-box player he is and how good he can adapt. 
You look at some games in the Champions League and for FC Porto, he's thinking forward-minded, on-the-ball, possession-style player, trying to trying to link up things in the final third. This kind of match, he's defensive, he's winning his challenges, he's making great recoveries, he's er, he's thinking defensive wise as he's earning great interceptions, recoveries, and he was absolutely brilliant. Now you look at the midfield, Estaki was the number one player here. You have Oripe who was very off and on and was the first match sub in that midfield five minutes before Estaki came off, getting a 6.7 match rating. And even wingers, even Otavio is only better than Estaki. And of course, we know he is the captain, so you would like to think he does have a very good performance. Estaki is one of the better players on the field outside of, of course, Diogo Costa, who is absolutely brilliant, and the two forward men for FC Porto and Galino and Medi Taremi. But Stefan Estacchio keeps going on and he's been absolutely brilliant. FC Porto are looking in a great fashion to qualify for the Champions League as they sit in second on six points, two points ahead of Atletico Madrid and three ahead of Bayer Leverkusen. We now have Kyle Lahren and Tejon Buchanan's Club Brugge side qualified for the Champions League. And Scotty Arfield also had a very good performance in a thrashing, a 7-1 loss to Liverpool yesterday from his Rangers side. We're going to make a separate video around this, but I just got to talk about it quickly. Scotty Arfield was brilliant, a beautiful goal. Do you guys think he needs to be called up? And do you guys think these problems with John Herman need to be ironed out and fixed as soon as possible? He's still a decent age. He's still a very good player. And he's still killing it in the Champions League level. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, guys. We got another video coming out later today. Of course, we have Liam Miller and Milan Boyan playing today in their respective clubs in UEFA matches. Of course, Red Star Belgrade for Milan Boyan and FC Basel for Liam Miller. Guys, we're going to have a separate video talking about how they do today and also what I think of their performances. And guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Drop a comment, a like, and hit that sub button. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.